I'm going to Person County to the office building. Um, it's actually where I attend farm school as well. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. Hi, I'm Clorinda, AKA C, AKA Farmer C. Um, I respond to any, any of those. Um, I am a farmer, a black woman farmer in my farm is in Liberty, North Carolina, and I also have a full-time um, career. I have a full-time um, commitment to family. All of that is me, and I am on my way to, and so much more, grandma, 44-year-old grandmother, a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm in school. I'm in farm school. So... The way that I'm able to do this, farm school is every other Monday night and um, one day each month we have farm visit day. So I go to class um, on those Monday nights, I'm in an actual classroom and we're, you know, talking about building a farm and conversation, etc. And um, at night, um, not at night, but one day a month, I go on this field trip. So today, I actually took a vacation day. So y'all make sure y'all thumbs up and like and subscribe. Support somebody out here in these streets. Um, headed to a farm early on this beautiful Tuesday morning. So I'm actually like really excited to do that so that I'm not stuck inside because it is good to get outside and get some sun. That is one of the key things that I love about farming. I love being outside. Now, you know, I was I was built for the sun. Look at all this melanin. I was designed to be outside. I am nature. It's just not my goal in life to sweat like that outside. You have to do stuff. And you don't really. Yeah, wave decide. to my little, my YouTube. <laughs> Say hey. Oh, you back there? Popped up. I didn't even know you were back there. <laughs> yeah, it um, it, <laughs> it always looked like hard work, and I just didn't. Can work. Uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name of the farm? Um, I want this one. Okay. Probably need to be moved. So let's come up this way a little bit and uh, then I'll tell you guys a little bit more. I'll tell you kind of about, uh, you know, sort of backstory. Uh, because I've I've developed this conviction over the years that uh, that uh, you you really kind of you you have to have a a real strong uh, motivation to uh, to do it, um, and it's not that it's all that heroic and all of that, but it's. Uh, you know, for the same amount of time and energy, effort, commitment and stuff, you could get paid a lot more uh, doing something else. I'm not saying that's a better life. I'm just saying if that's important to you, you know, you should think about it. So I uh, grew up here. That cemetery over there is uh, where my great grandfather is buried. Uh, my great grandmother really is the one who started, you know, this thing. Everybody farmed, you know, homesteaded back in those days, and it was just a way of life. And I think it was a good life. It was a hard life, but it was good. And uh, I'm glad they did. You know? uh, to have a moral compass in any field that you choose in life, you know, the thing that's going to make you. Uh, you know, so do right by others uh, to the best of your ability. And uh, I just couldn't do that in that field. And so uh, fortunately, you know, the upbringing that I had allowed me to break free and, uh, you know, do something different. 
and swarm of them up and around. They don't sting. They're not aggressive or anything like, like that. They just dollars. huh? Mud dollars, like the black ones? No, they're not. That's not what we're talking about. They're a different type of bee. They're that? like carpenter yeah, bees. Yeah. That's what Carpet they look bees. like anyway. Yeah. I have not positively identified them, but we built this building and it needs, so, you know, this polycarbonate paneling is, it's guaranteed for 12 years and this is like the 14th year. So we'll have to change it out this year. We'll change these cover boards and all of that, but straw bales and mud from, you know, the pond down the hill here is what this building came from. We cut mm -hmm. timber on the place here, had a guy with a portable sawmill. He came out here and cut it to our specs in terms of, you know, width and thickness and so on like that. That's what we built this building out of. It if y'all want to take a quick... Sure. Yeah. So, so what, there, but, do you have cool, cool you storage have or coolers? <laughs> we have and, uh, yeah. Yeah. so you can take a look. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> this is so cool. Look how pretty. Oh, wow. Love the coleus. Yeah, other plants. This is an orange tree that had yeah. had oranges on it. There's a lemon tree that had lemons and a lime tree and all of that. We have plants on the table that we're just starting. And uh, then we have seen his stand at the farmer's market. Uh, down the hill. And we leave uh, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy who's at the lawn. Of our area <laughs> in uh, wild meadow as a way to, yeah. yeah, to help the pollinators yeah, the and to help wildlife too. We have a, an area set aside for wildlife that we, uh, you know, will hope. I mean, from our perspective, it's like, look, either God now made a mistake by making these composting. That's like untenable. So then they must have a place in the scheme of things. And we're just simply trying to help find that place. Hey. To me, uh, they're not a big money maker, but we just appreciate having, you know, uh, seasoning food, flavoring food with onions. And they do add to, um, you know, the nutritional profile, the uh, volatile uh, oils and so on do help with uh, you know uh, certain conditions and so we are committed to that we grow a few leeks as well uh, you've got some more uh, of those the leeks we grow these are King Richard they're smaller than what you normally see in uh, you know in the grocery but uh, they're pretty hardy they do well without a lot of attention and uh, they got a decent size we like them and so uh, that's uh, that's what we do ah. do you know what the laws are behind containing rainwater um, I don't. Yeah. Uh, I would sure. think but I heard something like that. that it probably will be something that will be determined by local municipalities because, like, you're not going to go to Asheville and tell Ashevillians that yeah. they're not going to do this. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's like a I think it will be a local. Okay, so it's a barrel. And yeah, then. It might have to do with, like, rain quality, like, air quality, maybe, like, I would think maybe there would probably be some kind of testing or filtration that's required. Yeah. But then I guess it'll also depend on what you're watering, right? Sure. Like if these if this is for ornamental plants, what's the problem? It's not like people yeah. are ingesting that. But then I mean it is rainwater. What's the difference if it's out in the field? It's gonna get the same, same nutrient, the same yeah. water. Same yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I guess yeah, my only guess would probably be like if there was bad air quality. You know, leading on to like acid yeah. rain. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that yeah exactly. I gotta figure out how to make one of these. Yeah, this is really. Cool. I need this in my life. Like I'm not, I, I'm not gonna be satisfied until I get one now. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere you go, anywhere you go.